What's up, Guiding Bolt fans? This is Nick. Welcome back to another CodeWars.com Python training challenge. I cannot believe that we've already made it to day number seven, so thank you for sticking with me. Uh, remember, consistency is the key for us actually learning this stuff, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Today, we are going to be looking at Fix My Phone Numbers. So, it says here, oh, thank goodness you're here. The last intern has completely ruined everything. All of our customers' phone numbers have been scrambled, and we need those phone numbers to annoy them with endless sales calls. We're just calling to inform you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> uh, the format. Phone numbers are stored as strings and, com and comprise 11 digits. Example, this 11-digit number. Uh, and must always start with a zero. However, something strange has happened, and now all of the phone numbers contain lots of random characters, white space, and some are not phone numbers at all. For example, this number has somehow become this scrambled mess. And there are lots more lines that we need to check. Alright, so the task is, given a string, we must decide whether or not it contains a valid phone number. If it does, return the corrected phone number as a string with no white space or special characters. So we gotta, so this is gonna be returned as a string, not a number. Um, else return not a phone number. All right, sounds good. I think we can handle this. Let's go ahead and jump in. Look at this, we're missing an S here. Wonder if I accidentally clicked on that or something. Uh, let's see here. Actually, this one, this one looks like a good one to uh, to jump into PyCharm with. Let's go ahead and copy our initial function start here. We'll go ahead and paste that in there, and then let's go back over here and grab an example to use. So we'll just steal this first one. So this will be what we're uh, testing with, and we'll go ahead and drop that right there, right there <laughs> all right and we got to go ahead and throw a in parenthesis on this so um let's see here so how are we gonna do this one so i'm definitely thinking that a for loop is going to be needed what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and iterate over this string and let's go ahead so let's go through the string and try to pull out all of the numbers the rest of it can just be discarded really all we need to look at here is the numbers um, and then just keeping in mind that the phone number if it's a valid phone number it needs to start with a zero so let's go ahead and loop over this we'll go ahead and create a variable that stores all of our phone numbers and then we'll go from there so um, <laughs> for you Carly Ray Jepsen fans, let's go ahead and uh, m make our variable uh, call me maybe, <laughs> and we'll have that just be a string right now with nothing in it. Um, then let's go ahead and get our for loop started. So we're going to go ahead and say for C or character in S. That's what's being. That's what this is being passed in as. So for C in S, if and we're going to use a method on this. It's a string method. So if C dot is digit, digit. So if the character is a digit, then we are going to call me maybe plus equals the character or C. So that should just that for loop right there should pluck every one of the numbers out here and store them in that variable. So once we have that, then really all we need to do is a simple check to first off see if this was uh, how many digits? So we need to see if it's 11 digits and if it starts with a zero. So and I think we can just do that. We should be able to do that just in one if statement. So if we say if um, some, no not some, that would that would add them if length so if len call me maybe is come on is equal to 11 and and call me maybe and we want to check the first position or the first index so let's go ahead and say call me maybe at index 0 is equal to zero, then return, and we'll just return the call me maybe, which will be returning the phone number, right? 
Um, and then if it's not a valid phone number, what did we have to do? So if it's not a valid phone number, then we're going to return not a phone number. Oh, where all my screens go? <laughs> uh, there we go. Nope. Technical difficulties. Here we go. Um, so return not a phone number, right? Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and give that a test with this right here. So looking at this, that should return this, which is an 11 digit number. So that should be a correct one or a true, true statement here. Uh, let's go ahead and run the kata. Oops, let's actually go ahead and print this out though. And see if we get the number back. Not a phone number. All right, so why is it not a phone number? Um, oh, I see what I did wrong here. So what we actually want, so I'll look at this right here. So I am saying we're, we're looking at index at the first position of call me maybe, um, which is going to be zero, right? Looking at this example right here. But the problem is, is we're storing that as a string. So we actually, and right now this is an integer. So we're going to go ahead and change this to a string. We'll put that inside of uh, quotes. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead. I think we're going to also need to um, turn that into a string. So we're still going to go and grab the first position here, but then we're going to convert that to a string and then make sure that it's equal to zero, which is also a string. Now let's give it a try. Okay, sweet. So I think we should be able to, since that worked right there, we could try some of the other examples, but let's just go ahead and drop this right into Code Wars and see what we get. Give that a test. All right, so we passed all five tests. Let's go ahead and give it the master attempt. Nice. So passed all 105, so that was a pretty easy one. Um, only one little hiccup there with that, um, so not too bad. So nice, uh, nice easy one. Let's go ahead and get that submitted. At some point here, we're going to start working on trying to uh, shorten up our code a little bit. But for right now, I'm just uh, we're just going to keep trying to um, complete, successfully complete them. So <laughs> uh, thanks for sticking with me, everybody, for the full uh, full seven days. We've got a week under our belts. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop it down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.